The business environment's certainly a lot better than people were predicting this time last year. There's been a lot of new supply, which a lot of people forecast, but we've seen a really strong demand response as well, particularly from some of the newer markets. So to keep that growth going, um, we need to take advantage of the current environment and keep pushing down costs to ensure LNG remains competitive. And we need to keep working to unlock new markets. Well, obviously, bringing down cost is really, really important. A few years ago, the industry was very focused on speed, and now it's on cost, and I think that's, that's very beneficial. Where we're focusing a lot at the moment is on LNG into the transport sector, both into the marine side and onto the roads for heavy-duty um, vehicles. You know, we think there's a big potential there, particularly in the marine side, following the, re the recent changes in regulations to um, improve the emissions of, of shipping. New markets are happening and they're coming on stream very quickly and growing very quickly. You know, the best examples this year were Pakistan and Egypt, which saw very, very rapid growth demand. And what we're seeing is that although these markets may sound quite challenging compared to the traditional markets, they're actually markets where LNG is replacing domestic gas. So all the infrastructure is there, the demand is there. And in many ways, once you actually put the LNG supply in place, we see a very rapid market growth. So it's a good event, you know, you get a great um, collection of people here and you don't have to find them amongst another 5,000 people. You can find the people you want to see quickly and um, have a good catch-up at the end of the year. Mm -hmm.